Oh guys, how's it going? Uh, so, after the last video, I got a few um, like messages, you know, saying, yeah, I'll fight you, I'll fight you. So I gave each one of those guys my phone number. I said, you know, ring me. And my number's pretty well known anyway. My phone number's, you know, pretty well known because, well, stupidly, well, look, I'm going to put the phone number on the screen now. The phone number's on the screen. Yeah? Now, you got my phone number. Yeah, write it down or pause it and write it down. Now, my home address is going back on this video. That's my home address. And I'm also going to put on the email address. So you've got three different ways to contact me. Now, all these guys who message me in the comments saying, uh, uh, yeah, I'll fight you, I'll fight you, right? Each one of them pricks, I gave my phone number. And how many rang me? Not many. Now, I had a few actually did ring me. Telephone tough guys, I call them. They get onto the telephone to me. And I just ripped the piss out and said, when are we going to have this fight then? We're going to have this fight? Let's arrange it. Come on, let's sort it out. When are we going to meet? And all they do is just talk shit. But they won't actually come and meet me for a fight. And I'm saying this loud and fucking clear to every prick out there. Right, there's a lot of good, I will say this firstly, there's a lot of good people in the mountain bike community. And I met a good number of them. They're good people. But there's a lot of dickheads too. And there's a lot of dickheads on YouTube. There's a lot of dickheads on the YouTube comments, particularly, particularly on my channel. And I'm taking back control of my YouTube channel. I'm, I'm acting as a moderator. A moderator with my fucking fists. I'm happy to fight any YouTube uh, keyboard warrior dickhead is in my comments slagging me off. I'm happy to fight you. You'll have to come to me. I ain't traveling fucking miles, but I will fight you. The offer's there. The offer's there, fair and square. Now, you might say, well, I don't want to fight on your road outside your house. Okay, fair enough. What I'm going to do now is going to take you to locations very near my house where we can have a good punch up. Now, you can do it bare knock or you can do it with gloves on. If you want to do it with gloves on, you're going to have to provide the, uh, provide the gloves. If we're doing it bare knock, I'm going to wear hand wraps. You can inspect my hand wraps and you can have hand wraps on as well and I'll inspect yours, right? If we're going to do it bare knock or you can just do it bare knock without the hand wraps on, it's up to you, but I'd rather have that support on my hand and wrist. Um, if you want to do it with gloves on, we can do it with gloves on. You have to supply the gloves, yeah? bring you know some gloves 10 ounce whatever 10 ounce fight gloves whatever yeah and we can scrap i've been in training i've been training so i need some sparring partners and keyboard warrior twats are in my uh youtube uh comments slagging me off they're ideal sparring partners they're ideal like i said I had a lot of guys saying yeah yeah i'll fight you as soon as I give them the number don't hear off them a couple did phone me because my number, well, let's put the number on the screen again. There it is. There's the phone number. Ring it. Ring it if you want to scrap. Ring it if you want to arrange a punch up your pussies. Like I say, there's a lot of good people in the mountain bike community, but there's a lot of dickheads as well. Oh, there's the, there's the, there's the home address. Let's put the home address up. Yeah. There's my home address. There's my email. Let's have the email on. Let's get the email on. Let's arrange it. Come on, let's sort it out. Because I love fighting. I fucking love it. Shit at mountain biking. Yeah, but I was half decent at uh, fighting. Just like I was half decent at that fucking golf ball. I'm not sure which I'm best at. Juggling a fucking golf ball or uh, punching heads. I'm not sure. I'm pretty good at both. I'm pretty good at fucking both. I weren't so good at mountain biking. Admittedly, I was pretty weak at that. The thing with the mountain biking is you didn't see the real me. This is the real Dave Genvy, a fucking psycho hard fighting man who loves fighting. The geezer you saw was a guy just trying to get views, man. Just trying to get views to fucking um, get out of window cleaning. And as it was, in the end, I got out of window cleaning by doing what? Oil investing. I've become an oil man and I've done well. So that got me out of window cleaning, thank God, because I didn't enjoy it. It was just a way to make money. I had some good customers, I had some nice people, they were my customers, but uh, 
the actual job itself I didn't like it was just a job whereas now I'm a oil man it's a lot better doing something I enjoy so yeah that's the situation now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where we're going to scrap if you want that scrap there's uh, multiple locations in the Lickies we can do it on nice flat surfaces different surfaces uh, we've got concrete we've got grass we've got um, tarmac hopefully and we've also got another another surface that's hard to describe but I'll show it you right so we're gonna go for a walk in the woods to see where we're gonna scrap the other thing I need to talk about is um, well it's a bit of a sensitive subject but obviously I, I told you how to make a nail bomb a nail bomb out of uh, a firework, uh, nails, a ball pond ball, uh, the sparkler, a sparkler is a fuse, duct tape and epoxy putty. And obviously that would make a, an effective nail bomb. Now you make that nail bomb at your own risk. I won't be making one. I don't even know if it'll work. I have no idea. It's theoretical that is, that's theoretical weapon making. I'm not going to be making them. Am I? Because I don't want to, you know, risk getting hurt. So if you do make those nail bombs, that's on you. And you get hurt, that's on you. Or if you hurt someone else, I mean, if you need to use it in self-defence, maybe do. Defend your home from tyranny or something like that, I don't know. But if you're uh, doing it to cause trouble, that's on you, mate. And you'll be judged by God after death, so it's nothing to do with me. Now I'll say this as well, the UK police, I don't think were happy with that video and I think they wanted it took down. Now, what they did at first was they used a guy called uh, Matt Clark. He has the channel called Imbo MTB. They got him to warn me, because obviously Matt Clark knows me, and he got him to warn me with like uh, a couple of text messages. I'll show the text messages now. They're quite actually shocking. So yeah. Uh, UK police used Matt Clark from Imbo MTB to do a death threat to me. Um, what is it? Okay, mate, just take care. Anti terrorism, don't fuck about. Them shooting you will be a bad result, but I'm just like, yeah, man, couldn't give a fuck. Worst I can do is put me in prison or kill me. Big deal, so what? He said, okay, mate, just take your anti terrorism, don't fuck about, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I give a shit. I assume you'd be a bad result. What do I say to that? Nah. Get to go to heaven quicker. Bring them motherfuckers on. Because in it is a death threat, but I'm just taking it. It's just water off a duck's back to me. I'm just taking it as a, a bit of a joke, really. Because what happened on the evening, at half two in the morning, is the police actually phoned me to try and terrorise me, but it was so funny. Because all I did with the police was just take the mickey out of them. Because if the police want to arrest you, they'll just come to your house. They won't phone you. Do you know what I mean? If they phone you, it's like, it's nonsense. So I just took the mickey out. I said, oh, I'll just come around for a cup of tea and a Jaffa cake. They're trying to scare me and that. Saying, you're going down, going down, going down. The football champs, as if I was going down to prison. And obviously, I ain't. Uh, they're trying to terrorise, I just took the mickey out of them. Those old police, those old scallywags. Uh, so, that was ridiculous from the police. It made them look weak in front of me. They looked very weak with that. And I wasn't that impressed and I was pissed off for only about a day, day or two. Obviously they're pissed off that I told you how to make a nail bomb. It's up to you if you do it, I ain't gonna fucking make one. You know, you get in trouble using them. It's just a grenade isn't it if that's on you that is it's not on me uh, what else was I going to say yeah UK police they don't like dealing with me they've had multiple dealings with me I'm well known well known to the police um, and I've been for a while but it's a bit over the top really because I ain't actually done anything wrong not really well no I haven't I slagged off, um, slagged off some fucking ex of mine, some complete bitch. So fucking what? So what? She had a, what's called a nomo, a non-molestation order because she's never let me see my kid for years. 
Non-molestation means you've done no molestation. Hence the name, non-molestation. Non-molestation order to not let me see my kids. She's a complete bitch. That's what she is. Absolute cunt. Uh, that's just the truth of the matter. And I haven't been allowed to see my kid for four years. Am I going to get to see her? No. That's how the state works. That's how UK society works. And that's what police enforce. They enforce state rule. But sometimes state rule's wrong. Like I said with that dispensary. That dispensary. Good, good site that is. They sold me some really good weed. Dispensary.cc. You know, sold me some good weed. Um, it was quite pricey, but hey. You know, cost of living's going up, cost of energy's going up. So, cost of cannabis are going up, cost of, along with everything else. So, well done to dispensary.cc. And I just hope the police, I'm saying to the police, look, leave them alone. Because they ain't, they, what they're doing wrong, nothing. The police need to sometimes look at state rules, and state laws and stuff, and just look at them and think, you know what, though? Some of these rules are a bit stupid, particularly the ones on cannabis. They're ridiculous. So I'm going to, oh, I'm going to walk up to where, the, where one of the surfaces where we can fight keyboard warriors. I've also made this offer to the UK police and, well, to West Midlands police. West Midlands police, I've made this offer to you, and I? If you want to come for a punch-up, you can. Bring your hardest boy for a punch-up and you come fight me in these woods. on these sur Whichever surface you want, choose the surface. It's up to you. Um, I'll show you the surfaces now. Now you'll say to me, how did the police know to use Matt, Matt Clark of Imbo MTB to message you? Those messages, like, you know, a bit stupid messages to try and intimidate me, to take my video down. Well, because his, his missus, his missus works for the police. That's why. I'm not bothered though. It's a bit ridiculous, their messages saying they're going to be shooting me in there. Hey, if they shoot me, they shoot me. Like I said, it's up to them if they want to fucking shoot me. I don't give a fuck. That's a quick death. Straight to heaven, isn't it? So if I give a fuck. Now, a lot of people in the comments are going to say, Dave's gone crazy. Dave's gone crazy. No, I haven't. What I'm doing is showing you the real Dave Genvy. A guy that takes no bullshit. Do you know what I mean? A guy that just says, you know what? There's all these keyboard warrior dickheads on the internet and on my YouTube channel. And I reckon they're all fucking pussies. I'm calling them out as pussies, because no one's come to fight me yet. And I think it's might be because they might be scared of fighting on the road, you know, a public road where he could be seen, he might get in trouble. I say I'm out of breath, I'm not even fit. You got a good chance, lads, against me. Got a really good chance. You can come fight me. We'll see how you do against me. You probably do really well. I ain't no fucking Mike Tyson. Or flipping Muhammad Ali or anything like that. You know what I mean? Come fight me. Let's see how tough you are. Because I don't reckon you're that fucking tough. I reckon you're fucking pussies, I do. I reckon these keyboard fucking warriors are pussies. And they've been pussies since the day they were born. They'll never be hard. They'll never, they'll never have any fucking courage. They'll never come down to fucking scrap me. Because probably if they know they do, they don't know how to fight. I don't have to fight a little bit. And they'll probably get battered. And I'll smash their fucking faces in on this concrete slab up here. Let's go see it. Okay, here we are. Here's the concrete slab. Now, this is the top of Rednall Hill. Uh, if anyone knows the Lick Hills. This part of this concrete slab, obviously, you've got a flat area around it. So I'm not saying there's any particular boundary that you have to stay on the slab. It's up to you. Uh, we could have a rule where you say you've got to stay on the slab. If you step off the slab, then it st the fight stops and then you have to jump back on again and go again. Up to you, man, on that. There is a divot here. There's a divot there, so it's not a perfect surface, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Nice, nice big cross in the middle of it as well. Hopefully that can crucify you on. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah? I'll fucking fight you, keyboard warriors. You ain't used to having someone on YouTube just say, I'll fight you. You think you can just write fucking anything you want in the fucking comments? I'll fight you. And then you'll just say, you'll just carry on writing a little shit in the comments. I'll say, I'll fight you. There's, my, there's the fucking details. You've got them on the fucking video. 
or I'll put them in the message just in case you missed them on the video. I'll fight you. I'm more man than you. I am more man than you. You're a pussy because you won't fight. All you'll do is tap a tap a tap a tap a tap a tap a on a fucking keyboard. A complete pussy. You won't actually get in. I'm fighting on, I'm fighting on that fucking slab there. You won't do that because you're weak mentally and physically probably and emotionally. Just soft men who like to have a pop at people. And I've had a fucking enough. Do you know what I mean? I've had a fucking enough. Right, so that's one surface. That's surface number one. That's probably number one option. I'd say that's probably the best one because this hill is quite secluded. People don't come up here as much. Also, you've got a short walk down to a pub because I'd love, after I've battered you, or at least tried to, maybe you've battered me, maybe you are that hard and you can batter me. We can then go down to the pub. There's a couple of pubs near here. Just on the other down the side of this hill. Uh, Generous George and uh, the Hare and Hounds. We go there if you want for a drink, couple of drinks. You know, take turns buying the rounds. It's up to you, lads. I'll happily scrap you. Why? Because I'm ex boxer, so I don't give a fuck about scrapping. I love scrapping. Glove or bare knuck, up to you. Glove or fucking bare knuck. I'll bring my gum shield and it's glove or bare knuck. Whichever you fucking want, don't make a difference to me. You understand? We do, oh, we do round timer as well. We'll have three minute rounds. Oh, I've got a round timer on my phone. And it's just what? Queensbury rules. I'll bring my groin guard. You probably want a groin guard on. Because that's what you wear. You wear a groin guard in boxing. Yeah? You up for it, lads? Police? UK police, you send your hardest boy round if you want. Instead of doing little telephone tough guy moves. That was the UK police's scary, scary move to telephone me and try to intimidate me with, you're going down, going down, going, didn't work. Didn't work. Hey, Matt, Matt Clark, Imbo. They ain't got shit, mate. They ain't got shit on a geezer like me because I'm hard as fuck. And you blanked me sort of the other day. You just went straight past me. You didn't want to stop and talk like you normally do. Why? Because you've just learned that Gen Viz hard as fuck, haven't you? Proper, 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 proper hard, man. Shouldn't have been doing the mountain biking. Should have just been doing this. Because what we can do, if we do have this scrap, what can we fucking do? Well, I've got a GoPro, haven't I? And I've got a tripod. So I'll put the tripod up and film the fight. And then what? Put the motherfucker on YouTube. And I reckon that might be a far better way for me to get views. Don't you reckon, fighting keyboard warriors? Like I say, there's a lot of good people in the mountain bike community. Um, I do still like Matt Clark and Kerry, his missus. You know, I ain't got a problem really with them two. Kerry's just doing a job. Matt's fucking tried to be sound tough, saying they're gonna shoot me anti terrorism. No, they're fucking not. And even if they do, as if I give a fuck, like I said in the fucking messages, I don't give a shit. As if I give a flying fuck, I'm well known. Well known to the UK police, well, West Mids police. And I think West Mercia as well. Not fully sure, because I'm right on the boundary, you see. I'm right on the boundary between the two. Well fucking known. Yeah? Let's go look at the next surface. Right, the next surface we could fight on, it's up to you. It's what I like to call Wimbledon. Good if it's dry, you know, obviously if it's raining, not gonna work because it'd be too slippy underfoot. But when it's dry like today, really hot and sunny, beautiful weather at the moment, hope it lasts for a while. Uh, this, you know, ideal. Ideal. Nice and flat, massive. And yeah, like I say, any keyboard warrior who wants to fucking fight me, can fight me here. Right, it's another location, different surface. Um, and also you can bring your fans, they can stand there, the stands up maybe up there, I don't know, around the side, possibly. And we scrap, we fight. Now the other alternative we could do is tarmac on the tennis court. There's people playing tennis there at the moment, but that's a kind of all weather surface. Um, as you can see, so say, say it's raining and Wimbledon, we can't do Wimbledon. We do this on the, on, on the, a wet surface here, tarmac. There'll be enough grip on that. The only way we couldn't fight on that is if it's icy. It's icy or snow, but it's not going to be in midsummer, is it? Well, very unlikely. 
So, um, that's another surface. One last surface we could fight on, possibly. But those are probably the best three. And we could fight on them. We could do, we could do a couple of rounds on all of them if you want. We have a little tour. We could bat you on that one, on the concrete slab up there. Then bat you on Wimbledon, and then bat you on the tarmac. Um, up to you. And like I say, UK police and West Mids police and West Mercia police. Send your artist, boy. Come on, we'll video it. We'll put it on tripod. We'll put the camera on tripod and we'll see how you do. We'll see how you fucking do. Because that phone call was a bit ridiculous at half two in the morning, trying to intimidate me. As well, I've took it. In, I've took it in. I've took it in good faith. Really, it's, it's a bit. It's a bit of fun, wasn't it? You're trying to sound tough and you didn't. And all I said to him, I said, "We're well, going to come round, rest you." Da, 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 da. I said, right, come round, I'll give you a cup of tea and Jaffa cake. A cup of tea and Jaffas. And if you want custard creams, you'll have to let me know, I'll have to buy them in. But I ain't, I ain't got any coffee, so if you want coffee, you'll have to buy it yourself. And bring it yourself. Because don't drink coffee, I only drink tea. Something you might not have known about me. Um, and they didn't turn up, sadly. They played the sirens as well. They put the sirens on, on the, on the police cards. So I said, we're coming for you, with the sirens on. What, you need half two in the morning, you need the sirens on. Just gonna wake everyone up, ain't ya? <laughs> but I didn't say that, I said, oh, you're playing GTA 5? Are you playing GTA 5, mate? The police don't like me. They don't like me, but they should do, because I'm funny. I'm a character. I'm a nice guy as well, so it's a shame. I'll show the last surface. The last surface is what I like to call the Roman Colosseum. Um, now, a thing I'll say about this surface is it's hard on your footwear. If you actually look, I've practiced on this surface, it's actually damaged my footwear. See that? Now, I have bought some special Roman fighting sandals for, particularly on the surface, I say Roman fighting sandals, yeah? Because the Romans used to have uh, sandals that they wore with metal studs on the bottom. The reason was so they'd be hard wearing on surfaces like this for fighting in a Colosseum or fighting whoever, barbarians or something, for the Roman army. The other reason was they're like almost like having a knuckle duster on your feet. So when you stamp in someone's head, you've got big metal studs to fucking crack their fucking head open kind of thing. Just add that extra impact to the, you know, the blow of your foot on the top of their head. So uh, yeah, the Roman Colosseum. The only problem with that is Obviously, the visitor centre is right there, so probably need to wait till that's closed. I don't know what time it closed. What's what's closed right now? Afternoon, late afternoon, sometime. So we do Roman Colosseum fighting again. Just you know, bare knock or glove, up to you. Uh, with rounds, you know, three minute rounds on the on the round timer. It's got a bell on it on the phone, and yeah, that's that. What we do. Well, that's the deal, it's fair and square. And hey, we'll make a YouTube video out of it. We can even have a before and after, before and after of our faces. Before my face, and then uh, before your face. And then after, maybe I'll be bruised up and maybe you will. Maybe you'll have your teeth smashed down your throat. Who knows? I mean, wear a gum shield, obviously. Um, that's a fair deal, isn't it? From a good, good guy, which is what I am. I am a good guy. But I'm also not a guy to be fucked with. So it's up to you if you want to fucking fight me. I'm well up for it. Anyway, phone number. Let's have the phone number again. Let's have the address. Let's have the email. But no excuse not to contact me. Keyboard warriors. Like I say, lots of good people in mountain biking. I'm just talking about the keyboard warrior dickheads. That's who I'm on about. And also uh, the police. <laughs> Westminster Police, if you want to have a scrap, they can come have a scrap with me. You can film it. That'd be, that's, I'll tell you, I reckon that'll get the views. You can put it on your channel if you want. You can bring your own camera and put it on your channel. You know what I mean? Make you a star. Alright, see you later.